Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning. This thing is, why is this chair rocking? So once the twists are old, I can just unravel them. I can take them down and just wear it into a nice fluffy Take five. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning back in for yet another video. For today's video, I will be attempting to do mini twists on my hair so you guys will get to follow along with me in this process. I figured this was the best time to do mini twists because it's so hot and so humid here. And this is a great, easy, protective style and it's also very convenient. And the style can last you from anywhere from a few days up to a couple weeks. And once the twists have gotten old, I can just take them down, unravel them, and just wear it into a nice fluffy hairstyle, a nice twist out style. So right now my hair is pretty dry. It's all big and fluffy. It's, it's still soft, but it is dry at the same time. And it definitely needs a little TLC before you get started. So I always like to start my hairstyles out on a fresh slate. So I'm just going to co-wash my hair. I'm not going to do a complete full-blown wash. I'm just going to co-wash. So let me show you the products I'll be using. I'll be using my favorite conditioner, which this also works as a really great co-wash as well, but it's the 50-50 Balance Hydrating Calming Conditioner, and I have shown this product multiple times in some videos that I've done in the past. Now just for my edges and just for my edges alone, I will be using from Uncle Funky's Daughter the Squeaky Clarifying Cleanser because I do have a little bit of product buildup around my edges from the edge control. So I'll be using the shampoo just for my edges only. For my stylers, I'll be using two products. One of the products you may be a little shocked by because I had it in my last video as a product I will never use again but I only use it that one time and I feel like I just need to give this product another chance, just another fair shake. So I'll be using from Baskin Bloom Essentials, the Ease Leave-In Conditioner. And also I'll be using a new product from Talia Wajid, which is the Curl Sealer. This is a leave-in conditioner that causes no buildup. It shapes and seals your curls, adds shine while reducing frizz. And this is a paraben-free product. So this will be my second time using this product. It's new to me. So I did a patch test to make sure that these products mix well together, that they complement each other, and they do for the most part. I didn't see any white um, beads ball up in, on my hair or on my fingers, so it looks like they pair pretty well together. So that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to wash my hair off camera. I'm going to section my hair off just for time's sake. I will put a part in my hair, left or right side, I'm not really sure, but I will have a part in my hair because I do want my twist to fall a certain way and when the style, like I said, is old and I take it down, I'm still left with a nice cute style. <laughs> so now that you've seen all the products I'll be using for this attempted mini twist, we're going to go ahead and jump right on into the video. So without further ado, let's get started. So my hair is freshly conditioned, nice and clean, and my hair is already sectioned off the way that I want it just to make this process go by a little bit faster. So um, I'm just going to start, I don't know where I'm going to start. I think I'll start in the back um, and just kind of go from there. So I'll take this section and within this section, I'm going to create multiple sections. So I'm going to take a little bit of the leave-in conditioner. That's probably too much, but my hair needs to stay conditioned. So I'm just going to apply that from roots all the way to the end. And then I'm going to go in with the curl sealer right on top of that. Take just a small amount and from root to end. I'll just run that down my hair all the way to the end. I said I wasn't going to do these too small, but this should be okay. And you'll probably hear my air <laughs> going off. I have my bents closed because I don't want to dry my hair out. So the rumbling in the background is just my vent. So I'm just going to just twist it all the way down. And when I get close to the end, I'm just going to wrap it twirl it at the end with my finger and I'll do the other one the same and twirl at the ends and there you go so we have two and a whole bunch more to go <laughs> so you get the gist of what I'm doing I'm just gonna do the leave-in gel twist leave-in gel twist leave-in gel twist until my hair is done so now that you can see the gist of um, what I'm doing 
and it's just going to be very repetitive at this point. I'm just going to speed this process up just for time's sake because I don't want this to be a long drawn out video. Um, these twists are probably going to take uh, some time to finish. So yeah, we're going to speed this up. completed and I have to say I am very well pleased with the outcome it actually turned out a whole lot better than I thought it would so I'm really loving the results I'm gonna let this dry because there's still some residue so yeah these are my mini twists and I really like them I think they're gonna be really fun to wear I can't wait to see what styles I'm gonna do with this but I got a feeling once they fully dry I can you know pin them up um, pin it back you know do some some extra stuff just to get creative and just make them extra cute. But overall, I'm very well pleased. I like the outcome. The products work very well. I've got some elongation, so my hair is kind of, it's not heavy, but the products are kind of holding my, my hair, my curls down, uh, my twist down, I should say. My hair feels very light and airy and very bouncy, and I can't stop touching it. I can't believe I have not done many twists before. Um, or taking the time to do mini twists. So I'm just really glad that I that I gave them a chance and that I did them. So yeah, I will definitely be doing these a lot more often. So once my hair is fully dry, I'm just gonna touch up my edges with a little bit of edge control, just for a little added sleekness. And I'm just gonna put my hair in a bonnet um, for the most part. I'm almost scared to sleep on it because I don't wanna mush it or whatever because I like the twists. The twists are so juicy and they just look so good. I don't wanna mess them up so i'm gonna have to be careful how i sleep tonight i'll be trying to sleeping out the side of the bed i don't know but again i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up because it does help my channel don't forget to subscribe and comment down below it's just janine and i will see you on the next one bye guys